Industry Association in Burnsville, beautiful Burnsville, North Carolina, a Norman Walk Rockwell type of town. You need to come and visit. This year, our History Association has had a history of Santa. We've done a history of Santa and the Appalachian Christmas traditions. So we invite you to come on in and see over 100 hand-carved Santas by master carvers from all over the world. And we've had a large attendance. It's been a great exhibit. And we wanted to record it so that we could put it on our, our site, our Facebook site, and our webpage for many to enjoy. For you, those of you who did not make it to our exhibit, this gives you an opportunity to see a great ex, um, exhibit of carvers from all over the United States. We also incorporated into this the history of Santa Claus. We're glad you're here today and we want to see you, see for you to see uh, at least 50 of David Boone, the master wood carver from Burnsville, North Carolina, that he has his Santa exhibit on display for you to enjoy. And this is the first showcase that we have in the museum of David's carvings. All of these are done by David. And um, he lives here in a small community called Pensacola, North Carolina. And he has been carving these Santas for over 30 years. This is one that he's won many awards with. It has a bluebird, a, a deer, a squirrel, and a bag full of corn and things for the birds to eat and a red bird he has on his hand. This is a, a master carving in itself. Then coming on down, with our history, Santa started off in an old world look and David carved this old world Santa. These are some more of his works, as you will see. This is a painted Santa. And we have a beautiful tree on exhibit with our history of the Santa Claus. David owned a 1981 pickup truck that he has never sold and he continues to drive. And his daughter wanted him to carve a carving of his old truck. And the name of his truck is Huldy. And he carved a Christmas tree in packages to go in the back. And he put some snow to depict the Christmas season in the mountains of North Carolina where we live. We have a beautiful town. It's a Rock Norman Rockwell style town. If you're ever in our area, we invite you to always come by our museum. This display case is full of David Boone Santas. The one in the middle with the Christmas tree has won many awards in the United States over the years. He has entered these in competition. The one with the blue bird in the birdhouse is also a winner for David. He carves cypress knees and he carves Santas that he calls praying Santas. Then going on down, he carves Santa ornaments, of course, for the trees. These carvings here are of old Santas that he carved many years ago that we've kept on, in display at our house. Then coming on down here, is a Santa with a candle in its hand and a cypress knee candle. And then there's, of course, a picture of David Boone, the master wood carver from our area. We're, we're glad to have this video so that we can always show exhibits of this kind that we have had a large attendance to see in our museum. This Santa has a dog in the, and it's his backpack and that'll make some child really happy for Christmas. And then there's another praying Santa. This Santa down here is done in green. A lot of people know David's painting. He always paints in a mute form and uh, a lot of people know him by his paintings. This Santa here was in Wood Carving Illustrated at one time when they had a Santa competition in uh, their magazine, and this is called Letters to Santa. Then here's another Santa with a candle, and then there is a butternut Santa. It's carved from butternut, which is a hardwood, 
and it is not painted because of the beauty of the wood. Then we'll go on over. We'll give you a look at this entire case of carvings. The sun is doing a little reflection there on it. We have a Yuletide, Yule log here, and more information about the history of Santa Claus. And then this is another full case of the David Boonwood carvings. Um, for your enjoyment, we thought we'd film them and, and let you see them. This is uh, Santa here that David carved. He has a dog in his arms and a pack of uh, toys in his bag. Now, it, it, David is a member of the Character Carvers of America. There are 25 of them across the United States, and he always loved to do character tours. And this one is a Santa Claus with his flip-flops, and he's had a, he calls it Santa's bad year because he's lost a lot of weight and had a hard time, even started drinking. He has a bottle in his hand. I guess he had too much work to do this Christmas. Then this Santa here, it's one that, uh, it's a wood carver. He's where he's Santa getting ready the toys for Christmas. And um, that's that's uh, one that he's in his workshop. And then this Santa here is one checking his list, checking it twice. And then this one um, is another character tour. He's uh, uh, got his hat over his head and he didn't see that he had put his sign, Merry Christmas, upside down. And there's some little animals underneath him there and some packages and things of the Santa here. Then coming on down, uh, this Santa was done last year by David Boone for his wife for Christmas. She had a new cat, and so he thought it would be a good thing to do a character tour of uh, opening a, a box with a cat inside for his wife for Christmas. He's kind of shabby looking. This this carving here is a special new carving that just David did just this year in 2019. And this is also a man that's bad on his luck. And he's out hoboing, trying to raise some money to help old Santa. He has two dogs that he's put reindeer ears on to attract the people. If you notice on his wrist, he has a whole wrist full of watches for sale. And he has a lot of things that he's stuffed in his clothing to hide from people that have given him gifts. He's a hobo and he's trying to encourage people to give to him for Christmas so he can make it through. He even has a bale and a bucket and a fire to help him. And it says, help old Santa and his reindeer. Then the next Santa is another one that David did a few years ago, which is a character tour. And he's, the name of it is, Can You See? And uh, the little boy has his hat over his eyes and he's ringing a bell and he has a bucket that says help Santa. And of course he's wanting help so he can buy more booze for Christmas. Has a cigar in his hand. And all of these have lots of expression. If you look at this guy's face, he's really great. And then look at this guy's face too. And then this is an Americana Santa. When the school children visit, we ask them which Santa they like best in the cases. And this one almost always wins. They love the American flag, and they love the saying, God bless America. And uh, they just think this is special. Then there's another one with a dog and a uh, candle back here. And this is actually a Coca-Cola Santa. My daughter one year wanted to have a Santa that was a little bit different. So uh, he carved her a, a more Coca-Cola style Santa that started in the early 50s. And this is the Coca-Cola Santa. Then we have a tree full of ornaments. We have some Bruce Ann ornaments. We have some David Boone ornaments and Mark Akers ornaments on the tree that 
has been collected over the years. And then in this big case, we have a Santa that is a large Santa. And uh, it's a Santa at Escoda, which is the name of a small place here in the county where Santa might go. And then there is a Santa that David gave to his wife, Elaine, and it says, David loves Elaine on this Santa. It's a large Santa. Then this case here is a case full of carvings from people across America, some of which are character carvers of America carvings. And I want to point out to you some of those so you'll realize how in-depth this exhibit is. Um, this Santa right here is by Rich Weatherby from Colorado Springs, Colorado. The two Santas in the back are from Tom Wolfe from Spruce Pine, North Carolina. Tom is a famous, famous carver. He has written more books than anyone. And these are both, uh, Rich and Tom are character carvers. And here is another character carver, Keith Morrell. He lives in Custer, South Dakota. And we have two of his carvings. He uh, is also a part of the character carvers. And then we have a Joe Yu, a character carver from Sacramento, California. We have Joe Schumacher from Imperial, Missouri, a carving by him. We have Michelle Stetson from Scottsdale, Arizona, a carving from her. And then these are some miscellaneous carvings that we have collected over the years. And then we have an Eddie Howard set of carvings from Eddie Howard, who lives in Greenville, South Carolina. And then we have many more carvings coming across here for you to see. We have one by John Gulset from Pick, Ohio. We have one from Walter Baker from Greer, South Carolina. These are special. These are Helen Gibson carvings. She's an instructor at the John C. Campbell Folk School. She's the master carver there. And then in the back, we have a Bob Mason carving from Festus, Missouri. These are all carvings by other artists across America. These two carvings right here are called star carvings. They have, both have stars on their heads. But we're delighted to show these carvings. And then we have some more history of Santa Claus on the wall, how Santa came into existence, and lots of sayings about Christmas. It says a crowing cock on Christmas Eve scares away evil spirits. Shooting off guns and fireworks also works. Eating an apple as, as the clock strikes midnight brings good health. Christmas Day visits to neighbor's house requires eating a piece of stack case or mince pie to ensure good luck. Here is another case of Christmas Santa Clauses for you to view. Some beautiful works. We do have some Russian Santas. Russia has beautiful carved Santas, beautiful painted Santas. 
there's one with the, the Grove Park Inn on the front of it. This is a German Santa in the back. This is a couple of new Santas. Robert Bierman of St. Louis, Missouri carved these two Santas. And you can see the influence of Michelle Stetson on the painting of the eyes. She taught many classes across America. Then going down, we have some other special Santas on the bottom rack. These are by Mr. True from Ohio. All, all four of these carvings are by him. We're so delighted you visited us today in our carvings. We have another Appalachian is celebrated in a variety of ways, including some older activities, such as shooting machine matches, games, pageants, and visits from neighbors and family. Mountain people have to preserve the value of home and family through stories, songs, family gatherings, shared memories, and hope for the future. And these are some pictures of our local Christmas parade that we have in our town every year about the first Saturday in December. Thank you for enjoying our video.